Hello, I'm Leah Turner, and I'm going to do a little demonstration for you about sheet mulching with mycelium to reduce your turf lawn and build native plant beds. So sheet mulching is basically a method of composting in place. It's also called lasagna composting sometimes. Um, and basically what you're doing is you are smothering your existing grass or weeds and you are um, adding material to the top, all kinds of organic material, so that you can both reduce the vegetation that's there that you don't want and you can also help build soil biology and nice microbes and everything into the soil and uh, you know create new soil because you are putting down a bunch of different layers of organic material that's going to break down and become nice new soil. So there are a lot of reasons why you might want to reduce your turf lawn and replace it with native plant beds. Uh, one of them is that it's a really good way to support the ecosystem um, to you know help your soil health to bring in pollinators and all kinds of insects are going to be food for birds and um, it's just a lot more sustainable than having a monoculture of lawn. It's also a great way to help reduce water usage in your yard and with this drought we've been having for seems like forever um, everyone is interested in, in reducing their water usage. It's also fun! So to get started you are going to need some spent mycelium blocks, some decomposed leaves, they can be fresh leaves too, wood chips or any kind of hardwood mulch or shredded mulch, um, cardboard, and compost. You can use kitchen compost or um, you can just use leaf mold if that's what you have or you can buy compost um, and uh, that will help the sheet mulch decompose a little faster. So step one, you are going to throw down some partially decomposed leaves and on top of that put a little layer of compost. Then the next step is going to be adding the cardboard. Before you put down the cardboard, it's a really good idea to take the tape off if there's any plastic tape on there. All right, then on top of our cardboard and our mycelium layer, we put a little bit more compost and then cover the whole top with wood chips or any kind of hardwood mulch. Then after that, after you get your whole sheet mulch area done, then you can add some seeds and you can also add plants and um, one easy way to get the little plants in there is to just cut a hole in the cardboard and make sure that the plant is actually touching the soil rather than just trying to plant it in the sheet mulch. You really want the plant to be under the sheet mulch and being able to reach the soil. It does take a while for your sheet mulch to break down. Um, if you do it in the spring and we get some good rain and then we have a nice hot summer, you might be completely decomposed. All that cardboard might be completely decomposed by the fall. So it really depends on weather conditions. It can take up to a year, but you know, if you time it right and do it during the warm season, um, the, the compost and the uh, mycelium are all gonna help work together to break down that cardboard and just give you some really nice soil to plant in.